How do you track in DaVinci? So today guys, I'm going to show you how to do this within DaVinci Resolve. It's a really quick way that you can track some interesting graphics or some stuff just to spice up your video a little bit. Let me show you. So as you can see, we have our video clip cut from where we want to start the tracking till where we want to end it. As, as the clip is being highlighted, we go into the Fusion page. We press Shift and Spacebar. We're gonna type in Tracker. That's the one. We're gonna press Add. Then you're gonna see these two squares. So I'm gonna zoom in to explain a little bit. So this little square right here, this is how we move. I'm gonna place it on top of my finger go into the inspector and hit track reverse from current time. DaVinci will do its job. It's so gonna say render is complete. Then you're gonna go back to the frame that you started tracking backwards and you're gonna press this little button here in the inspector. Track four from the current time. The track. Then you can go frame by frame and if it's lost somewhere, for example, right here, you can grab our tracker, place it where we want and hit the button to track forward again. And we're gonna go to the back somewhere like here and grab it because it didn't track actually very good. Okay, now that we have finished tracking, we can add the thing we actually wanna track. So I'm gonna just do a quick uh, text. I'm gonna press like subscribe. You're gonna take this node and add it to the tracker. You're gonna go to the tracker again. You're gonna go to operations. Here at operations, we need to, to select match move. I'm gonna go back to the text. First, I wanna do in the layout options, I wanna move it here. Then I'm gonna do some here at the shading menu. We're gonna go, I'm gonna go with the fifth element. I'm gonna enable it. Just gonna go do some, just make it a little bit more interesting, more like a subscribe button. We need the color to be red. And now, as you can see, we have it perfectly glued to our finger. So really quick and easy, this is how you can track some text within DaVinci. I hope it was helpful and I would really appreciate it if you subscribe or give a like or share or whatever. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye.